Hello everybody, my name is Ollie and welcome back to another Spiral Stage Lighting video. In today's video I'll be showing you how to create a Winamp time code on an Ableix console. Before this video begins as well, I just want to say I did create a tutorial in the past but I didn't really like it because of the camera angles and one of the lights were um, pointing onto the screen. But yeah, I just want to say sorry about that and also um, as well I just want to say the visualizer will be on here. Today, I'm um, not on my laptop because the capture visualizer on my laptop is going a bit weird. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I hope this um, tutorial helps. Let's begin. The first step you're going to want to do is put your memory stick into the desk. And um, the music needs to be on your memory stick. So just put it into the desk. And then go over to tools, which is right here that once now go over to folders which is right there and then it should take you to this part now you need to try find the thing saying remove over disk that is your memory stick so just double click that and then it should take you to your memory stick and now you just need to try find the song you want to use which mine is right there so you can play it just with the um, with like the memory stick in, but if you want to take the memory stick out, you can actually put the song in the My Music folder. So to do that, you need to press it once, go up to Organize, press Organize, oh, and then press Copy. Now that's copied. Now what you're going to want to do is go over to My Music, and then press Organize again and then press paste. I'm not going to do that because the song I want is already in that folder. So to play the song on Winamp, just click that once and then press play in Winamp and then this should pop up. Now if you want to connect speakers into the desk you'll find this auxiliary, um, auxiliary um, port at the back of the desk and then you can just plug your speakers in to the back of the console. Now let's see if our music is working through the speakers. Now it's going through the speakers. And if you want to turn that up or down, all you need to do is go over to this little part here, right there, and you can turn it up like that. I'll just turn it down. Now I'll stop that for now. I've already created a cue list for the um, for the time code. The reason why I've done it um, is because I, I don't really want to do it for the video because then the video will be pretty long. But I'll show you how to do it real quick if you don't know how to create a cue list. Just press record, go over to cue list, and then select one of your playbacks. And then now we're at, there we are, you've selected your playback. And then you can just carry on building the cue list on there. So I'm just delete that real quick. Now I'm gonna see if my cue list is working properly. So let's click it um, once. So yeah, that's the beginning I want. That's the first step I wanted. Now that's not the second step I wanted. So I'll show you how to change that. So you press cue list, and then go over to tracking. Press tracking once, and this menu will come up. Press Q only, and then just press exit. Basically, um, then when I start from the beginning, and then I go to second step, you see it's not popping up now. The reason why, uh, like that was like you know that was there uh, is because like when you add a movement, it usually overlaps on the second cue as well. I'm not really sure why that does that. Um, it doesn't do it just on my desk, but um, you can change it by the global part that I just showed you. And then now that's the cue list I wanted. So basically you want to put start from the last cue, which I mean, so now that's on the first cue, second cue and last cue. The reason why you want it on the last cue is this dark blue part is on the first cue. So when you click it, it goes straight to the first cue. So to create the time code, all you want to do is press time code. Press, uh, make sure that's on Winamp time code. You've got Winamp, clock, sympathy, C, S, M, PTE, whatever that is, internal time code, MIDI time code, and Winamp time code. You want to make sure that's on Winamp time code. Make sure your timer is disabled, and then press connected cue lists. And basically, what you're going to want to do is to um, select the cue list. You just want to click that, 
and now I've selected. Because if that's not selected, the time code, uh, the, time, uh, the time code part doesn't know which um, cue list you're using for the first song. So I just click the first playback, which is this one. I just click if um, cue list that you want to play the time code on. Just press that. There we are. That's on. Press exit. And then let's go over to our main part with the visualizer on. There we are. Let's open Winamp backup, which is in tools, additional programs, and then Winamp. And then when you're ready, just press record. And then when you want to start, just press play on the song. There we are. Mine's not going to be in time because obviously it's hard doing time code whilst filming. And um, yeah. Now I've created mine really simple, so don't expect loads from my <laughs> from my show on on this. <laughs> um, but yeah, because I don't want to waste time. You see. Now I've just created my time code. To see if the time code actually recorded, what you're gonna do, what you wanna do is press the cue list that you selected and then go over to time code and these numbers should have popped up, which is the time of the time code. Now let's play it to see if it's actually working. So to play it, press timer, this, uh, make sure the timer is on enable. So just press that. And then go over to tools go over to Winamp, uh, additional programs, go over to Winamp, and now let's test it. So you see the reason why again that was out of time is because it, it was me because I'm trying to record it at the same time, <laughs> um, but yeah. Now that's running through the time, that's running through the queue list uh, and how I wanted it to be, so that's all working. So I hope this tutorial helped you, if you want you could like and subscribe and if you want as well you could follow um, my service um, social websites um, on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, the links will be in the description and I hope this tutorial helped you and I'll see you in the next video.